Welcome back, everyone. And I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So, apparently, out of all the stuff that's going on in the world, there's one thing that's harder to find than Cardin in San Diego. And that is, where is Kate Middleton? The Princess of Wales and the future Queen of England. Where is she? Now, normally... I would say she was out, I don't know, studying abroad, uh, maybe splunking, uh, doing things like going up skiing the, uh, skiing the Swiss Alps. But this is the royal family. And I know um, I live in America, we're Americans, but we do pay attention to the royal family. That's like kind of our, um, you know, it's our way, like, they're the royalty in England, you know. It's always been a fascination with American people. We've always followed them, you know. But uh, normally, I would say those other things. But this time, it's a little, little sketch. Because we all know how the royal family handles problems. And I'm not saying she was a problem or she wasn't. She's very, very, um, very elegant, beautiful woman. And I, I see no problem with her. But maybe they do. Because we know what the royal family does with their problems that they call problems. They expose of those problems. I mean, I take take a look at uh, Princess Di Diana. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it was the paparazzi that uh, that caused that that tragedy. Yeah. And OJ didn't do it right. So I've heard anything from um, theories because this has become a conspiracy theory uh, where Kate Middleton's at. She's not showing up for events. The last time a photo was taken or edited, family photo, was in November. This has been flying under the radar. And I, I've been watching it, but I was like, ah, oh, she'll probably pop up. But now it's getting a little fishy, you know? Um, I've heard that uh, she's recovering. These are outlandish things that people have been coming up with. She's recovering from a botched BBL to she uh, she joined the Galactic Council to be actually the face and the ambassador of Earth to uh, other alien civilizations. Um, she's being held in the Vatican, Vatican vaults, apparently. Um, she's been reprogrammed, recharged. She took the other pill, went back into the Matrix. Um, she's actually going on a press tour eventually, so she's gathering all her stuff. She may be in Buckingham Palace in the library reading a book. These are all things. There's so many things that people are coming up with, and she could just be just out of the limelight. That could be possible. She just... You know, needed some time. There's been stuff about affairs that she's had. All this stuff's going to come when people aren't. And I don't understand why this isn't ringing a bell. Can you be like, uh, like I don't know, wave from a window? Even though it might be a body double. And what makes it even weirder, I've never seen this. I don't, I know about stand-ins for stuff. I know about stand-ins. But when you're like a princess or, a, and if you're sick or something like that, I, I understand when you can't show up, but this is being a reoccurring thing. And uh, I never heard of like a stand in for a princess, a future queen at like a St. Patty's Day festival. It's pretty weird. So you're just standing in. I didn't even look at it because when, when, I, when I heard about it, I was like, so you're going to get a stand in? You're going to get a replicant from like 2049? Blade Runner? To stand in for her? So what? what is she going to suppose is like the parents of their three children and the wife of the future king? It's pretty, pretty odd to me, don't you think? There's something strange about this. And, and you, we need to get to the bottom of this. We need to keep, call up Liam Neeson. We need to re, have him reprise his role from Taken and find Kate Middleton. Stop everything we're doing around the world. Stop everything that we are doing around the world right now. And we need to find Kate Middleton. Because you know what? If she's in a cottage somewhere and she's writing her more memoirs and books and she just wants to be alone, we're still going to find you, Kate. We're going to make sure you're safe. 
Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Because this this happens a lot with the royal family. See, we're doing all this, and it's a distraction. It's another distraction for something. And this this girl, whether she's missing or not, and you know what? It's probably it's probably none of our business. She's probably like, I don't care. She may be sitting there saying, I don't I don't care, or she could be uh, chained up somewhere, getting reprogrammed. Probably somebody's harvesting her organs and trying to recreate her, so she just doesn't rebel. We don't know if she found out something. See, the crown, the royal family is very secretive about their stuff. They've sp- they've made a lot of mess in a lot of places and done a lot of things. Even though they are a figurehead now, they're really not part of the the par- uh, English Parliament and their government. But um, they've done a lot of dirty stuff over the years and covered up a lot of stuff dirty stuff like i said before i <clears throat> prince diane uh <clears throat> prince diane but uh yeah where 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 is kate like we have to find kate and maybe she did uncover something we need to protect her at all costs that is a beautiful woman and she seems like she could change things in that family we need to we, i i this, it's just weird. Since November, edited photo and supposedly she left a, um, uh, sent a letter or something to somebody, you know, a written message saying she does apologize for the um, edited photo. But where are we at? Like, can we see something? I know in their position as the royal family, let's be honest, you're not private. It's just like any movie star, and and I and it, it puzzles me when they're like, "Can you stop taking photos of me? Can you then don't be in that position?" I mean, that comes with it, and I know sometimes you're tired, you know, but it, it's sometimes like when when you're a parent with like little kids, you're tired, but you you still do it, you know what I mean? Because it's it's your job, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. You want to be in the limelight, you want to be in those places, so people will often wonder and see and like. What the heck? But you do all this. This is weird. And you got Prince Andrew still running around. He's just chilling. I mean, he has like no responsibility and still all the profits of it, which is um, disturbing. If you know anything about Prince Andrew, we're not going to say the person's name. But you know, you know who could find her. You know who could find her because she's strategic as uh, at finding women that are in distress and helping them, whether for good reasons or bad re- reasons. We may have to pull like a Sean Connery from The Rock where we take Glenn Maxwell out of that New York prison and put her on the hunt. I believe if that Kate Middleton is out there and she's in distress and something's happening, I believe that Glenn will be able to find her. Glenn Maxwell will be able to find her. She already has ties with the royal family, especially her best friend, Prince Andrew. So maybe this is the way where she can, like, uh, betray. Look, this is almost like a movie. She can, like, betray Prince Andrew, like, try and get, like, uh, leads on stuff and be like, oh, yeah, I was just wondering. And, you know, I'm just stuck here in this prison for doing all these horrible things throughout life to women and and younger women. But, But I'm a woman. I can find a woman. No problem. I will use, it's almost, you could use it like Silence of the Lambs. She could be the new Hannibal Lecter that's getting, buff, finding, helping Cla- Clarice find Buffalo Bill. We can use Glenn to find Kate Middleton. Because I'm tired of this, where in the world is Kate Middleton? You know? And hopefully everything is okay with her. I, re- I really do. I, and I'm, I'm being sarcastic with a lot of things. I really hope that everything was is okay with her and that she will return and eventually be queen cuz she has three they have three uh three children together she has a husband you know prince william you know and then oh i wonder what prince harry and meghan are saying about it they say a lot they talk an awful lot so what are they saying about this we need to find her that's all i'm saying but that's all i got um you know like, comment, and subscribe. I know this is a little bit further. I do do conspiracies and stuff, and this is technically entertainment, right? This is entertainment because 
the royal family's like entertainment because all the fiascos that go on. So, but yeah. Um, anyway, tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I want everybody to subscribe and everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.